Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this uh, excellent meeting and uh, sorry, uh, to this marvelous place. Uh, today, I would like to share with you some interesting data which uh, came out uh, from an uh, international study uh, which uh, our institution in Prague was part of. Uh, the study look at uh, three different procedures uh, from the point of uh, uh, in hormonal and incretin changes. Two of uh, these procedures are already for many years uh, well established. Uh, that's the adjustable gastric bending and biliopancreatic diversion. The third one, uh, which was studied, uh, is a rather new procedure, and it's a greater curvature gastric plication. The rationale behind the study uh, was uh, uh, to look at the entirely uh, restrictive procedure, uh, gastric uh, bending, and uh, entirely malabsorptive procedure as uh, BPD, uh, from the point of view if uh, and uh, how this procedure influence the hormonal and incretin parameters postoperatively. And to compare the outcomes uh, with the outcomes uh, after gastric plication. At the end of the day, uh, to, uh, the observation should uh, first of all lead uh, to a uh, 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 conclusion if there is any metabolic effect of uh, gastric plication and uh, on top of that the result should allow us to uh, position more precisely and clearly gastric plication among other bariatric and metabolic procedures. Uh, the aim of the study was uh, are in line uh, with the overall uh, content, uh, contest uh, uh, and the paradigm of uh, 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 that the weight loss is uh, not the most important parameter of our uh, uh, treatment aims, uh, uh, but the metabolic effect uh, is. The patients were randomly selected for the study. Uh, those who were recruited uh, have had to be type 2 diabetics uh, undergoing primary bariatric procedure. Uh, BMI over 35 and uh, the age range uh, was set up uh, between 18 uh, to 60 age of years, years of age, sorry. Uh, in total, 45 uh, diabetics uh, were selected uh, for uh, the study. Uh, the uh, demographic of the cohort uh, is shown in this table. Uh, you may see that uh, the groups were comparable from the pre-OBMI, uh, body composition, and uh, age points of view. The study, pro study protocol was set up uh, for the pre-op evaluation of patients, uh, as well as for the first uh, 6th, uh, 12th, and 44, uh, 20, uh, 24 months uh, post-operatively. Each patient underwent a liquid mixed meal tolerance test at each of three time points of the study. The patients were examined in the morning after overnight diet, uh, night fast, uh, and uh, 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 blood uh, was sampled, uh, and we measured uh, uh, fasting gluc glucose, insulin, C-peptide, uh, as well as some hormones as uh, GIP, GLP-1, obestatin, ghrelin. So let's have a look at uh, some results. Uh, the uh, pre-OBMI was uh, higher in uh, uh, BPD and LGCP group uh, than in uh, adjustable gastric bending. Uh, however, there was not, uh, not uh, statistical difference uh, in BMI preoperatively. Uh, in all groups, the BMI decreased uh, significantly uh, from the stage uh, one to two uh, up to 24 months uh, postoperatively. Uh, the decrease was uh, more uh, steep uh, after BPD uh, than uh, in uh, LGCP and uh, adjustable gastric bending groups. The fasting plasma glucose preoperative values uh, were higher 
uh, in uh, uh, LGCP and uh, adjustable gastric bending group than in BPD group. Uh, however, in all groups, uh, significant decrease uh, in uh, fasting plasma glucose levels uh, uh, were seen uh, from uh, the stage one to two uh, and uh, followed to uh, uh, decrease uh, during the next follow-ups. Uh, however, uh, the uh, fasting plasma glucose levels uh, in uh, BPD and adjustable gastric bending uh, and um, uh, LGCP group uh, reached the normal uh, range uh, after six months after the operation uh, and uh, remained slightly elevated uh, in uh, adjustable gastric bending group. Uh, during the meal tolerance test uh, at uh, 120 minutes, uh, we have seen a significant decrease uh, in uh, uh, all groups of patients, regardless the type of the operation, during the stage uh, 1 to 2, and uh, non-significant change uh, between the uh, stage uh, 2 and uh, 3. Uh, the uh, glucose levels were lower in uh, BPD group uh, than in uh, uh, gastric plication and adjustable gastric bending group. A, decrease, a significant uh, decrease in uh, HOMA insulin resistance uh, occurred uh, between the stage uh, 1 and 2, regardless the uh, stage of the operation, and followed to decrease during the next uh, controls. Uh, however, uh, the, uh, starting from the month uh, six, uh, the decrease of uh, HOMA insulin resistance slowed down and uh, there was no uh, significant uh, difference uh, during the next follow-ups. Basic insulin secretion uh, decreased significantly, again, between the stage uh, one and two and between the stage uh, two and three, regardless the type of the operation and uh, decreased more in BPD and LGCP group than uh, after adjustable gastric bending group. Uh, tissue glucose utilization is uh, another important factor of uh, insulin resistance. Uh, uh, simply, uh, the lower the uh, tissue glucose utilization, the higher the insulin resistance. Uh, in uh, all groups, uh, regardless the type of the operation we've seen, uh, the significant uh, increase in glucose tissue utilization. And uh, surprisingly for us, uh, the, the glucose tissue utilization was uh, higher in uh, LGCP group uh, than in BPD group. That means that uh, there was some effect of the operation in favor of uh, LGCP in this parameter. Uh, glucose utilization in fat-free mass in muscles is again another important factor of uh, uh, insulin resistance and glucose uptake, uh, and uh, uh, again, in uh, uh, all groups, uh, uh, we've seen a uh, uh, significant increase in uh, glucose utilization in uh, fat-free mass. So as I promised in the beginning, uh, I'm going to talk also about uh, some hormones. Uh, GIP is uh, one of the hormones that uh, uh, is secreted uh, from uh, K cells uh, postprandially, and uh, it's rapidly uh, stimulating insulin secretion from pancreatic beta cells, as well as uh, also exerts uh, multiple effects uh, in uh, other organs. Uh, uh, promoting storage of uh, glucose and uh, some lipids. Uh, GIP, uh, uh, importantly, uh, is uh, the effect of GIP is uh, decreased uh, in uh, type 2 diabetics, uh, and uh, it's because uh, the uh, beta cells of diabetics uh, are resistant to GIP effect. Uh, that means uh, in uh, practice that uh, type 2 diabetics uh, have lower levels of uh, GIP postprandially. Our study revealed uh, important increase and significant increase uh, in uh, GIP postprandially uh, starting from the month uh, 6 uh, in each control. And uh, we may see that uh, after GLP, uh, the, uh, there was a really significantly higher increase in uh, GIP uh, comparing even to BPD. Um, we may explain this uh, because of uh, 
abnormal uh, contact uh, with not well digested food, uh, uh, the K cells uh, from duodenum uh, because of uh, rapid uh, transit through uh, stomach. Uh, GLP-1, uh, another hormone important for diabetics that is lower. Uh, it's secreted uh, from intestinal L cells uh, and uh, it's a potent uh, uh, antihyperglycemic hormone secreting uh, uh, and stimulating uh, glucose dependent uh, secretion of uh, uh, insulin uh, while uh, suppressing uh, secretion of uh, glucagon also uh, helps to restore glucose sensitivity of uh, pancreatic beta cells and uh, inhibit uh, apoptosis of pancreatic beta cells uh, as well as uh, improving differentiation and proliferation of uh, pancreatic beta cells. Again, uh, normal level are decreased in uh, type 2 diabetics. Uh, and our study uh, refill uh, the uh, uh, in our study, we've seen uh, improvement uh, and uh, higher levels of GLP-1 after uh, LGCP and BPD, a non-significant change uh, after adjustable gastric banding. So, uh, I have to say that uh, uh, all groups uh, from uh, uh, our study improved their diabetes uh, significantly and uh, we've seen better effect of uh, BPD, but uh, we expect something like that. Uh, all groups uh, decreased BMI, uh, the decrease was uh, uh, higher in uh, a BPD group. Uh, fasting glucose was uh, lower in BPD group uh, than uh, in the uh, uh, next two groups. Uh, also the meal tolerance test uh, was uh, better in BPD group. Uh, homo insulin decreased uh, regardless the type of the operation. What was surprised a little bit for us was uh, basal insulin secretion increased uh, more uh, lower uh, volumes for uh, LGCP than for BPD uh, and uh, glucose uptake issue again uh, higher values for uh, LGCP. So that means that uh, LGCP is uh, not uh, just a restrictive procedure, but it also has uh, some metabolic effect. Uh, this uh, helped us to position uh, LGCP somewhere between uh, adjustable gastric banding and uh, sleeve gastrectomy because the results, uh, the hormonal results of LGCP are closer to uh, sleeve gastrectomy than to adjustable gastric banding. And just the study confirmed that uh, BPD is really the most powerful operation uh, from the uh, metabolic point of view. So thank you for your attention, and just uh, I would like to invite you to the next Congress of uh, IFSO EC uh, connected with uh, physicians uh, that is going to be in May in Prague. Any questions? Again, she is the first to finish first. <laughs> My question is with Dr. Karin. Dr. Karin, do you see the future of surgeons encroaching into the endocrinologist's scope in treating the diabetes? I think that uh, the treatment of, uh, surgical treatment of diabetes is uh, uh, relatively new. Uh, uh, and uh, now we are trying to uh, uh, take some patients from diabet uh, diabetologists, uh, and uh, uh, what we've seen uh, is that uh, treatment of diabetes is uh, really, surgical treatment of diabetes is really strong, and uh, it's uh, staying with the patients. Uh, when the diabetologists uh, try to uh, treat uh, the diabetes, they are adding uh, uh, pills and uh, uh, I think uh, they, every time the, the patient comes and uh, diabetes is worse, they just add a pill. What we do is we just do one procedure and uh, we see uh, that uh, diabetes after half a year, one year, almost disappear. So compliance is better. Yeah, the compliance is better and uh, uh, the problems the patient uh, could have uh, uh, with uh, non-treated diabetes or a worsening of their diabetes are worse than just one operation. 
and my second question is, do you see any physiological benefit of retaining the cells, not cutting it by sleeve gastrectomy? Uh, yeah, sleeve we see uh, some, uh, uh, I have a presentation just for gastric plication. It's uh, for uh, tomorrow. And in fact, uh, what, uh, uh, why we offer uh, gastric plication to our patient is that it's uh, uh, less harming and uh, with the almost same effect than a sleeve gastrectomy and uh, less uh, complications for the patient. We will see tomorrow again. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.